गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस सो डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस इज अ टाइप ऑफ क्रॉस इन विच वी कंसिडर टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एट अ टाइम एज एन के जस्ट कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू इट इन केस ऑफ मोनो हाइब्रिड क्रॉस वी हैव कंसिडर्ड वन कैरेक्टर एट अ टाइम बट नाउ आउट ऑफ दो सेवन कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर साइमेंटेनियसली वी विल यूज टू कैरेक्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल here you can see in this given picture which mendel used mendel used round yellow round yellow that is this will be the letters used round yellow and wrinkled green and wrinkled green so you know green is the uh, shape of the seed and wrinkled will be the sorry wrinkled will be the shape of the seed and green will be the color of the seed so we can see easily that in case of dihybrid cross it is a cross where we use two characteristics at a time here the two characteristic will be the color of the seed and the shape of the seed color if it is dominant it will be yellow and if it is recessive it will be green and shape again if it is dominant it will be round recessive will be wrinkled so this is how we uh, study two characters simultaneously in case of your dihybrid cross and out of this dihybrid cross we will be able to study the third law of inheritance that is the law of independent assortment till now we have discussed about the law of dominance then second will be law of purity of gametes law of dominance law of purity of gametes we were able to uh, justify it with the help of mono hybrid cross but in case of third law that is law of independent assortment we use di hybrid cross or we can say we can we will be able to justify third law with the help of di hybrid cross so whenever third law comes that is law of independent assortment that time we only use di hybrid cross otherwise we can use mono hybrid cross but for the third law only di hybrid cross is used where we use two characteristics at a time so here we can use any two characteristics out of those seven contrasting characteristics here we have used seed color and seed shape so first will be the parental generation where seed shape and seed colors are used then they will form the gametes obviously second step will be gamete formation after gamete formation there will be the possibility or that will be you can say the first filial generation the first filial generation will have all round yellow seeds why round yellow seeds because round is the shape which is dominant and yellow is the color in the seed which is dominant and we are well aware of the fact that in f1 generation only dominant characters they express themselves and during that uh, time although recessive characters were present but that time they were suppressed and they will express themselves in second generation that is f2 generation okay so this is the f2 generation where uh, recessive character will express surely but not in f1 generation and this is the law of dominance so first we have uh, seen the law of dominance first law because in dihybrid cross we can see all three laws okay and uh, most importantly the third law now second is law of purity of gamete here you can say when we uh, make uh, gametes like round yellow seeds we have taken so gamete formation will be round yellow why i have taken only one allele because the gametes are always pure for one uh, character it means in during uh, gamete formation only one allele will tr get transferred to the gametes now see how the fusion of the gametes takes place what will be the possibility in the f2 generation so here you have to keep uh, the female gametes here on this uh, side and male gametes here or vice versa you can change the place it hardly matters 
the combination should be correct and you know how to make the combination it will be capital Y capital Y then RR and at the end you have to count them what will be the result same in the case of uh, what whatever we have seen in the case of monohybrid cross uh, you have to make the cross and you have to combine the gametes and you have to look for the uh, combination. So, uh, the phenotypic ratio will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. It means 9 uh, round yellow, then 9 round green, then 3 uh, wrinkled, uh, it will be y r So, it will be 9, the phenotypic ratio will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So, it will be round yellow, round green, then wrinkled green and wrinkled yellow. So, this will be the combination or phenotypic ratio. Phenotype is the external features of the individual and genotype gives the genetic makeup of the individual. Thank you very much. Revise well.